Hi everyone, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I'm going to talk about VP Fashion again. As you guys know, I've been working with VP Fashion for about two years. So I have accumulated a bunch of extensions from them. And I am now bringing to you the very first wig I've ever gotten from them. So in total, I have about seven or eight pairs of hair extensions or uh, sets of extensions and all but one is from VP Fashion and I have around 15 or 16 wigs none of them are from VP Fashion but now I do have a wig from VP Fashion and it is actually my very first human hair wig the uh, thing about synthetic hair is it can't be colored so I mean I'm, I'm sure there is a way to color it but you can't color it with regular hair dye because regular hair dye it works for hair that has a humanly developed cuticle, all that stuff. So I now have a human hair wig and I actually was able to dye it. Uh, just for those of you that don't know, I work at a hair salon. Um, I'm not licensed yet, but I have graduated hair school just working on my hours. And so I do have a lot of experience with hair and I love working with this wig because it just has a really good texture to work with. It acts just like regular hair. I'm just going to show you the box and how it all comes. So this is the box. It's actually a little bit taller than a regular um, extension box. Um, by the way, they actually customized this wig to my head shape. They asked me like seven measurements, like a measurement like from here all the way down to my nape, like from the top across to my ears, um, just like the, the width of uh, the back of my head, like all of those things I had to measure exactly and they even had me confirm a few that sounded not right. Um, but I just have a very small head so I'm really glad that this wig actually fits me properly because I never knew that all the wigs that I have are actually not very fitting on me. I just didn't know how a wig was supposed to feel and now that I feel this wig it's it feels right. It's already been colored and I've already kind of opened it all up so the packaging doesn't look exact anymore but it comes like this. It has this um, black like really thin net to hold it all together and then it comes with some wig caps. It also gives you a little information sheet. Mine right here um, is a uh, hairstyle W613A, color 613A, and um, the hair texture is silky straight. It came as a uh, light white blonde wig and it just, it was the perfect palette for me to co color it. This is a lace front wig. That means that there is this lace in the front. I do have a video. You can click up right there or maybe it's there. I don't know. I think it's right there, um, on how I cut a lace front wig. This wig I have not cut, and I've purposely not cut because I just don't want to ruin that edge. Um, I'm just kind of scared to. Like, I feel like eventually if I wear this every day or something, I'll cut it. But I feel like it's safer for when I'm shampooing it out and stuff because I have a feeling that I will color this wig at least one more time because uh, I, I purposely did pastel colors this time so that it'd be easier for me to remove all of it. There is a video of me coloring this wig right here. I'm also going to put um, it in a box at the very end of this video so you can watch that. I go into exact detail of how I actually colored it and I modeled um, this wig coloring after one of the art pieces that is hung up in my salon. I'll put the photo right there. It's like a pastel galaxy. It comes with three clips, two on the side, or not clips, um, like little combs for your head. Uh, two on the side like sort of near the temples and one at the nape. It's all lace front up until this point here's where um, the structure of it all is. This is what I would consider the bones of the cap. Um, it just kind of holds everything together more securely. Uh, this wig also came pre-cut. It was already this length and I don't know all of the details but I will have them all in the description if you want to know the exact grams and measurements and stuff and I also um, I went back through and I sort of I cut a little bit of it and you will see that if you watch my um, tutorial on how I colored this wig it's just gonna be like a lot of point cutting and stuff but I just wanted to soften the layers up a little and face frame it a bit so um, 
going into details about the quality of the wig, I have not experienced any shedding. Literally no shedding at all. Uh, you can go to the description and see my discount code, Jellyfish. It's going to give you $10 off on anything from VP Fashion. If you want to get this wig or some extensions, you can just apply that code and you'll get a discount. Also, um, I'm going to be uploading this and a few other videos around um, like November 20th or 22nd. That is around the time when they're going to have their Black Friday sale. So just keep your eyes open and take a look at the website and make sure, you know, you're not missing out on all the deals because Black Friday is really the best time to get this kind of stuff. You're going to get the best deals out of the year. And um, using my discount code will probably also apply some other abilities with your purchases. I also am wearing a Black Hope Curse shirt. They sent it to me. Thank you, Black Hope Curse. I'm also wearing their... A leggings super duper cool company awesome alternative art styles and everything so you should go check out them as well also hat hair and helmet hair is nothing compared to wig hair when you take off a wig cap your head is like flat and matted and it looks like you've been <laughs> I don't know you just woke up from a coma and your head in the back is like a mess or something. That's what it, that's what I feel like. I don't know if that's like horrible to say, but. So something that I like to do is I will usually, it depends on the color of the wig. Uh, since this one sort of has like silvery tones throughout it and my hair is silver and it also has a dark uh, root shadow. I like to take out some of my baby hairs in the front I sort of gently brush them out or you could just pick them out with your fingers um, but anything like just to sort of frame your face to make it look more natural is gonna really help um, your style and making it look much more convincing if you go in public And so, okay, so I just kind of put it over the wig cap. Now you see my lace front right here. I kind of just tuck it under like that and it, it goes away. So like the lace front is gone and if you just pull this forward a little bit and then brush your hair into it, it sort of all disappears. But what I do with the clips is I take this clip and I wedge it underneath the wig cap so that if it was to be pulled this way, it catches onto that wig cap and then I do the same at my nape. So with things like this styling is key if you feel like you're just not really doing it right like the wig just isn't laying right then you're probably missing products. Um, it's either the way the wig is cut or it's not texturized enough or something but um, I've sort of styled it already there's like some hairspray in there and some leave-in products so this is the wig. I'm hoping that my baby hairs can sort of cover up this line. I don't usually wear my wigs out. I wear extensions out, but wigs are some something that I sort of feel less comfortable sort of trying to pull off in public because it's just not my thing to go out wearing a wig. I mess with my hair too much. All right, so I would say that is pretty convincing because if I flip my hair like this, you literally just can't see the line at all um, and I also designed this coloring like so that I don't really like the yellow but um, the co the photo I was modeling it after it had a lot of yellow in it so I had to put yellow in but the way I part my hair I usually part it on this side or on this side in both ways you're not gonna get all of the yellow right right there so as you can see this wig is partable anywhere if it doesn't stay where you put it, you can put a texturizer, you can use like a dry paste or um, something that will just hold and like stick and keep it where you want it. I think I'm going to wear it on this side today. And so the awesome thing about uh, having a human hair wig is you can style it just like human hair. You can um, curl it, you can flat iron it, you can do whatever you want with it. I will say, if you just rough dry it and you treat it like your hair, it's not going to always respond the same exact way as your hair. 
Uh, it all depends on what kind of hair texture you naturally have. But with this wig, it's not going to produce its own oils the way your hair does. Everyone has like sebum that is produced at the scalp and at, throughout the day it will slightly evenly distribute throughout your hair and wigs don't have sebum so you do need to use oil if you feel like the ends are too dry if you don't flat iron those ends when you want it straight it's gonna look frizzy and puffy and just gonna feel kinda staticky that's when you use your oils I have some um, oil elixir by Wella and I can just use the tiniest amount work it into my hands all the way and just run it through the ends and it keeps everything nice and smooth um, you know any wig any kind of hair especially hair that is processed to be light it's gonna be a little frizzy so that's not that's not a problem it's just hair and you should know that if it does get frizzy then you know it's real hair if it's not going to curl up or kink up or it's not going to respond the way hair does then it's probably not real hair yeah I'm in love with this wig guys I don't really know what else to say I feel like I always try to make my videos more um, in depth than they need to be I'm just gonna not ramble too much but I'll just spin around a few times and show you the wig Awesome. Loving this wig so much. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to wear it. Some days I'll probably wear it for like parties or I just feel like kind of like an elven fairy creature with this. I'm loving it though. I'm absolutely loving it. I feel like I should save this color and wear it for Easter because this is definitely spring colors. It's definitely Easter colors. I'm sorry um, Mikey from Glam and Gore. Um, or, yeah, Glam and Gore, Glam Gore. I don't know if it's Glam Gore or Glam and Gore. <laughs> well, Mikey in one of her videos said that she hates um, pastel colors and she hates she hates Easter. <laughs> so uh, I thought about that and I was actually watching it as I was coloring this wig at one point. So <laughs> that was pretty funny and I was like, oh, well, this is unfortunate. But. I think it's pretty anyways. I did a pretty good job. I'm proud of myself. Alright, I'm gonna go now guys. Thank you so much for watching this quick little review. Sorry if it was fast, um, but I am splitting this up into parts. I'm gonna style this wig around Christmas and I should have a video out about that pretty soon. So stay tuned for that and watch the video of me coloring it because it's a pretty awesome video. I think that you could learn a lot from that. Um, I have a lot of other hair tips in this other video that I'm gonna pop up on the screen in a moment or two. It's gonna be um, a formulate review this uh, company makes custom shampoos and conditioners and it's such a new company but you can watch that video to find out more about that um, and I have a giveaway at the end of that video as well so it also has a bunch of hair facts like a lot of things that you probably didn't know about hair um, being in hair school like I learn a lot more that I'd love to share with you guys because I just really love sharing my experiences remember to leave a like on this video comment down below subscribe if you haven't uh also remember my discount code jellyfish for ten dollars off at vp fashion i love you guys stay epic bye